Well guys, time for another smoke break. Uh, in here, I uh, thought I picked up something called Beard. It's a uh, strawberry cheesecake vape juice. That's what I thought it was. But in fact, what it turned out to be were the tears and uh, from the Huffington Post tonight after uh, Donald Trump just took, uh, took down the New Hampshire primary, more than doubling his closest competitor. So I'm going to smoke these Huffington Post liberal butthurt tears um, in my vaporizer. It helps if it's fucking on. Oh, yeah. Oh, it feels good. Uh, so, <clears throat> you liberals have no one to blame for the rise of Trump but yourselves. That's right. Donald Trump is the antithesis of the social justice warrior movement, the neo-Nazi fe neo feminist movement, and all this other fucking bullshit liberal crap that he, people have been spewing online and uh, all this shit. So thank you. Um, you're going to lose. Uh, Trump thanks you because now all he had to do was come out and call out the bullshit because he knows what I know and that's America loves an alpha male president. Can't get enough alpha male in America. John Wayne type of deal. That's what he's going with. That's what he's going with. And uh, it's because people are sick and tired of the, uh, of the in intellectual, I'll put that in quotes, intellectual uh, simpiness of Barack Hussein Obama and, uh, the, <clears throat> and the liberal media that has been portrayed for the last, I don't know, fucking 10 years now probably. So this is political blowback, Trump 2016 from the Trump train, just took down New Hampshire, and now he's going to South Carolina. We'll see, I don't know, it might, uh, Kasich came in second, um, even though he was well behind Trump, I mean, Trump doubled his numbers so, yeah, so far, 100% of the numbers haven't come in yet, but he's leading 34% to Kasich 16%, so it's still more than double right now. Oh, oh, just vaping those liberal tears. Just, what, let's do it again. Feels good. Whew. All right. It's just me bragging a little bit. <clears throat> but seriously, Trump's going to South Carolina. I think he's going to have a strong show in there, too. Uh, I think it's going to be between him and Ted Cruz down there. Uh, I still think Trump's going to win probably in a, I think it's going to be close though. I think it'll be like, it'll probably be something like 30% Trump and 27% or somewhere around there, maybe 28% Ted Cruz. Um, and then I also think that Jeb Bush might actually have come in third in South Carolina uh, with like, I don't know, like 17% or something like that, followed by uh, Marco Rubio at you know, 12 or whatever below that. I fucking, I'm not doing all that fucking math. You get what I'm saying. Top three for South Carolina, I predict it. It'll be Trump beating out Ted Cruz by, you know, under 4%. Be a close race. If it's not a close race, for instance, if Trump trumps the rest of the field like he did today, I'm going to look for massive dropouts, um, and it's going to probably be between him and whoever comes in second in that South Carolina primary there. So. Oh, vaping liberal tears. Oh, yes. Mm. Building the wall, building the wall, building the wall, protecting our jobs, protecting our country, building the wall. Build the wall. 
build the wall. So what's about? That's the top five reasons people are voting for. <laughs> that and the economy. Fucking he's going to build the wall. He's going to create some fucking jobs. It'll be great. We'll, dra we'll drag you liberals, you know, kicking and screaming like we did with Ronald Reagan and everything will be fine. Don't worry. It's been smoke break. Have a good night.